Hello and welcome back to Fear the Moon. In the last episode, we found James. So that's good. You know, he's alive and well. Let me just go ahead and talk to him real quick since I was actually in the safe room. There he is. Hi, hi James. How you doing? Uh, Melissa's dead and I'm pretty sure Jack is dead too. And we are currently stuck in a house with a werewolf. And we went to the basement for some reason to escape. So yeah, this is gonna go great, isn't it? There's nothing down here. This basement is lame, James. It's lame. <gasps> Can I walk out? No, I can't. Hi, James. Hey, I know things are rough, but it's going to be okay. We can get out of this. You're both gonna die. I don't deserve to make it out of this. What? Why would you say that? Look, Jane, there's something I haven't been telling you. You, uh, you hired the wolf as a hitman. You did. You did, didn't you? It wasn't Jack's idea to come here. It was mine. Oh, for fuck's sake! The one person I thought was slightly fine, and he wasn't fine. What? What do you mean? I knew the wolfman was real. Well, I knew it was more than just stories anyway. What? How would you know something like that? Well, you know already. My dad's a cop, and people really do go missing out of there. But that's not the full story. He told me they found one of the bodies. They were completely mutilated in a way no animal out here could have done. Not even a man. There was a big hunt looking for whatever could have done it. They thought it could be a bear or something, but they didn't find a thing. But my dad always warned me ne to never come out here after that. He believed something was out there. I knew the stories. I knew it would be full moon tonight, so I told him we could, we should come here. You absolute twat! <laughs> you absolute twat! Why, man? Why? Come on! And you know Jack, he's always been obsessed with the cryptids, so of course he jumped on the idea. And the thing is supposed to be territorial, so when it got late, I told him about the shack, convinced him it was a good idea. So he convinced them to have sex in the cabin, in other words. <laughs> I watched them from the woods as the thing broke in and pulled him out. I heard him screaming, but after that, I knew things were going too far, so I ran after him, but when I found him, he was dead. The creature had already eaten it away most of him. Oh lord. I started to run, but it caught me. I screamed and tried to get away, but it just knocked me unconscious. I guess it wasn't hungry for me yet. But why would you do this? They're our friends! He wanted to fuck Melissa, because I hate him. I've always hated him. Him and his perfect life, and how he always rubbed it in our faces. Mate, did you see his face? I'm not sure if he's perfect. He was pretty good, to be fair. He did look pretty good. He looks my, my, He looked like my friend Simon. Or is that this guy that looks like him? I think it's this guy. I don't know. Like getting married to the perfect girl. He dragged us all the way out here just to tell us that. She should have been mine. Oh, you little soft cock. <laughs> you little soft cock, eh? I just wanted that perfect night to get ruined. I wanted him to get hurt. Look, I know I'm twisted, but I really didn't mean for it to end up like this. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> I can call- You're pathetic! James, I honestly can't believe this. You're- Pathetic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I deserve that. I just hope somehow I can redeem myself. Sacrifice yourself by dying. Oh shit, he's gone. <gasps> oh, I, I was I was slightly joking, James. I don't want to be alone down here, James. <laughs> James, I don't want to be alone down here. Okay, I'm gonna save. Well then, I just told him to go fuck himself. Uh. Oh, this is a room full of mirrors. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Rotate. Okay, so I'll need to- there's some sort of puzzle then with mirrors, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh! Ah. That doesn't seem good. First, like, I might need to fix that somehow. Okay, James! I don't like the fact that you left me alone. Oh, hi, there you are. Okay, never mind. I'm fine now. <laughs> the weapon. An unstoppable beast. An insatiable bloodlust. It will tear out every piece of you until there's nothing left. A sword to kill it hidden in the dark. Use the moonlight to show you the way. Stab the beast through its heart to free you from its torment and pain. Okay. I'll uh, make sure I do that. Stab the motherfucker. Can I stab you? Look, I know you don't like me much right now, but we're gonna need to work together to get out of this. I found Jack's bat. I'll try to use it to fight. You should find something too. Can I leave? No, I can't leave. Okay, so I need to find a weapon of some kind. Godhead. 
I mean, there seems to be some kind of puzzle here. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. If I... I feel like this thing's gonna be important. So if I walk straight towards this, boom. Am I supposed to, like... Hmm. <laughs> my, my brain no work is. <laughs> okay, hold on. If I turn this on... That happened. Does this do anything? No? Okay. So I need to find some sort of weapon. Hey, pathetic, how you doing? Are you sure you're ready to go? We need to be prepared. No, not yet. I have a choice. So clearly there's something, something I can do here. It... <gasps> oh! Aha! Wait, what the fuck? Where was I going? Okay. Okay. So, wait. If I turn this... Aha! <laughs> okay, got it! And that needs to go into that moon thing, I bet. Okay. So, I just gotta twist... What the fuck? <gasps> oh, this is moving. Okay. So, I gotta, I gotta twist the mirrors into each other... ...for this puzzle to work. Why don't you work? <gasps> Pal. Okay. Aha! Now it worked! Okay. I twist you a tiny bit that way. There you go. Yep. Uh... And let's just do that so that we get a better angle on it. And let's... There you go. Nailed it. Shit. And then we twist and turn this thing. And the final rotation. Aha! Ooh! Oh, this is a sword. Silver sword. Oh, yeah, it's silver that kills werewolves, isn't it? Aha! <laughs> well... Sword with a silver and steel blade, the pommel's gemstone, glows when held in my hands. Oh, heck yeah. Can I, can I stop, James? <laughs> Hold on, I've got to save before I try that. Okay, I have saved, so I'm just going to try real quick. Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, James, I don't mind that. Are you sure you're ready to go? We need to be prepared. I have a sword! Yes, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, old man! <laughs> I'm gonna break your face, motherfucker! Is <laughs> that? You should have said tosser, that would have fit with my. Oh shit! I'm trying to fuck you, bitch! Ha! Get fuck! Yeah! Die, you monster! James! We did it! Did you not see James get absolutely annihilated? <laughs> no offense, sorry. Uh, James? Did you not see him get absolutely killed? I guess I'm the only one left. Could I have saved him? <laughs> Vomits. It's yellow in color and almost glowing. Some strange chunks present in the spew. Feels as though the claws digging into your chest since you woke up finally released. And you can breathe again. I... need to get help. Oh, I slayed the wolfman and I was the last remaining survivor. Oh, right. Though... I do kind of want to see what the other endings are. And considering the fact that this chapter was so short... I can do that. Oh shit, it just starts me off here? Okay. So I cannot be nice to James. Okay, it does not let me do that. Okay. I just gotta rush at him and try to kill him before he kills James. Let's see if that works. Can I save James's life? Can I save him? Oh, can I save him? Can I oh, I could not save him! 
Okay, what if I die? What if I die? What happens if I die? What happens if I die? Ah, I don't want to know. What if I just run? What if I just run? I can run. I can run. I can run, motherfucker. I can run. I can run. I can run. I cannot run. I'm dead. Consumed. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh man, so I can't go back and like not have the sword. Alright, I have one idea I kind of want to try. If I just speed run through this whole game, see what happens if I don't insult James. Maybe he lives. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, that's great. I can start at chapter two. All right, well, speed run. And here we are. Chapter three, acceptance. I'm going to try to be nice to this asshole because I want to see if, you know, can he survive? Maybe if I'm nice, you know, he won't sacrifice himself because he said, like, I hope there's a way I can redeem myself. So that's why I'm thinking, like, if I'm nice to him and say, like, oh, I'll forgive you, even though I don't. Maybe he won't die and I can eat him as a wolf or something. We'll see. Hey, I know things are rough, but it's going to be okay. We can get out of this, yada yada yada. And then can get to the part where you're, where I get a choice. You are one sick motherfucker, ain't you? Can you ever forgive me? Maybe I can. Look, I don't believe you wanted it to go this far. You wanted to hurt Jack. I'm pretty sure he did want it to go this far. Not this far, but he still wanted to kill someone, technically. <laughs> but it did. And we can't change that now. I don't know if I can forgive you, but right now we just need to focus on getting out of here. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I won't let you down. I promise. Alright, so now let's see if we can actually save his life. Just gonna speed run this puzzle real quick and I'll be right back with you. There you go, get the sword! Oh, my lord, I, I nearly got crushed by the thing. Right, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna try to, you know, fight by James's side. Oh, you found Jack's bat? Yeah, I don't even understand how he got down here. I'm gonna use it to break that thing's nose. Good. You should probably find something to fight with too. Might be something down here. Well, look at what I'm holding, James. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready to go out? Yeah, let's go. Okay, please tell me I can save him because otherwise I swear to Lord. Oh no, he's standing the same way. No, come on, don't die again, you twat. <laughs> I forgave you and everything. I forgave you. No, 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 Jake. Oh, you dumb fuck. You dumb fuck. You still died. I wanted to save you, you asshole. I, I swear, maybe I am just too slow. Maybe I just need to, you know, hurry up. I don't know why I'm so destined on seeing if I can save James. I think there is still a part of me that still kind of likes him because I like the accent I gave him, I guess. <laughs> Alright, come on. We can make it, James. I believe in us. I believe in us. I believe in us, bitch. No, I do want you to die, but I believe I can save you. Alright, come on. I can hurry. I can hurry. <laughs> did that count? It did hit him though. Did it make a difference? <gasps> he survived even though he got smacked in the face. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> did, did we do it? Yeah, I think we did. Are you okay? I don't know. That thing cut me up pretty good. Ah. Vomits. <laughs> okay, I feel a bit better now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's yellow in color and almost glowing. Some strange chunks present. I can't believe we actually killed it. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we should go find help. Yeah, we should go get help. And report James for murder. <laughs> That's what we should do. But hey, I guess I did save James after all. Not that he deserves it, but uh, yeah. Honestly, this game was very fun. My favorite chapter was definitely the second one. It was the most scary one. <laughs> I know I was terrified throughout the whole thing, but 
it was a really good chapter nonetheless. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, slap that little like button. It deserves it. And yes, I really like this game, and I do recommend you play it yourself if you just feel like being spooked, because it is spooky. And, uh, yeah, have a good day. And remember to fear the moon. <laughs> oh, and uh, don't be a twat like James. Thank you.